The news updates. President Buhari finally tells Bia friends the truth about Unam Dekano's repatriation from Kenya to Nigeria. You are welcome to today's news. And thank you for tuning in to the news. Now to the news details. Please listen to the end. The administration of President Momo Dubari has finally released a statement to make the people of Nigeria understand that it has nothing personal against the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, High Pope Onamdi Kano. The statement of the administration of President Momo Dubari is coming shortly after the Supreme Court adjourned the trial of the IPOB leader to May 2023. The case of Unam Dikanu has been in the Nigeria courts before its repatriation into the country in June 2021. It was claimed that the Nigerian government, through the office of the Attorney General, with the help of the DSS and Interpol, repatriated the IPOB leader to Nigeria from Kenya. In one of the statements of Unam Dekano, he revealed through his lawyers what was done to him by Nigerian officers during the process of his repatriation into Nigeria. He said, there was a clear collaboration between the Kenyan government and the Nigerian government and I am and I'm happy that they are now denying the facts that Kanu was arrested in India. Kanu was tortured, maltreated and mercilessly beaten as confirmed by him. After spending eight days in their illegal custody, they now beckoned to the Nigerian government. Kanu was lifeless and unconscious by the time they were bringing him to Nigeria. He was, called, he was brought into the country and inflicted with several in injuries and he is having several medical issues today. It was at the behest of the federal government that Kenya was doing those things. This is against all international laws. We are going to address an international court at that level. Many months after he was brought in, the leader of the IPOP is still fighting for his release from the custody of the DSS. And in the middle of this, the Nigerian government has released a statement to make the public know the real reason why the IPOP leader, Mazenam de Kano, was repatriated into the country from Nigeria. The Office of the Minister of Justice in a suit filed before a notable Nigerian draft said, held that the extraordinary rendition of Kanu robbed the trial court of the jurisdiction to hear the pending charges before the court, even before the respondents illegally jumped bail and absconded. Kanu was standing trial on a five-count charge preferred against him by the federal government. In the course of proceedings, he illegally jumped bail and absconded from Nigeria. The respondent was only returned to Nigeria to continue his trial before the courts. Mazi Unam de Kanu the high pub leader who was renditioned and extradited from Kenya to Nigeria. Mazunam Dikanu has been under detention since June 2021 and the federal government has decided not to release Mazunam Dikanu. But now the federal government have spoken that they do not have anything to do against the IPOB leader that remember that in 2017 he was arrested 
and he was granted bail but at the long run he actually jumped the bail and ran out of the country and he flew to Kenya and in this Kenya the Kenyan government and the Nigerian government this was said by Inamdi Kanu's lawyer that they worked together and before Kanu was repatriated to Nigeria he has been beaten mercilessly and he has health issues in which he is still battling with today so the Nigerian government said because he illegally jumped bail and absconded so they had to go and bring him back to Nigeria to continue his trial before the courts as that when Kanu absconded he was standing on five count charge and then the appeal courts had acquitted him and discharged him but the federal government still insists and went against that and now they have already slammed him another nine fresh new grant charges now the IPOP said that this is against the international laws but the federal government did not care about that so they said the reason why Mazunam Bikano was brought back to the country was to continue his trial we have come to the end of the news thank you for staying tuned to the end kindly share your comments in the comment section but don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates thank you